Well, the hall is here, boys. Problem is, it doesn't fit in the garage. <laughs> it's too tall to fit in the garage. Uh, I mean, it looks like that from that angle, it looks okay. But <laughs> trust me when I say, it's too much. We done too much, boys. We done too much. Oh, 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 too much, too much. Well, needless to say, I'm freaking tired. <sighs> Castle 2.0. You ready? This is a GMC Acadia that costs thirty-one thousand dollars. This is a Lego collection that costs thirty-one thousand dollars. <laughs> what would you guys rather have? You know, if it's me, I mean, uh, I mean. Uh, Oh, what have I done? Oh, here we go again. Stay tuned. What is up, guys? Kevin over at Legros coming back at you, and we are about to begin. Are you guys ready? This is the new <laughs> largest haul. Let's start with box number one, shall we? I think that's probably a good place to start. Nice orderly order to go in. Focus. All right. Let's start off this box and just show you a little bit about why I was so excited. Not that poly bag sound. Don't, don't, don't go, don't go crazy. Let's just pull the first, the first box out here. Take a look. Hmm. Yes. Well, that that does seem to be a sealed one zero one eight two cafe corner. Interesting. Yeah, in interesting. I mean, that's 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 something to be excited about, right? You gotta be, you gotta be excited about Cafe Corner. That's, you know, that's one of the most expensive sets out there in the Lego. Wait, 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 hold on, wait. That's, wait, hold on. That's, that's two, okay, two? Two cafe corners? You're gonna say you got two cafe corners. Like, I mean, you're gonna say two. Well, wait, stop. 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 Hold on, wait. Wait. Hold on. Three. Three. Those are, those are sealed. Three. Three sealed cafe corners? Come on now. Come on now. Come, come on, wait. Come on. Come. Welcome to Lil Lego Castle, number two. <laughs> All right, we did it again, boys. This isn't even it. I mean, it, we're, we just, this is box one. We're not even done with box one. There's still more stuff in box one. We're not, what is, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, just a little history of this all. I had to start out with a, a good intro and just show you four sealed cafe corners. Because I mean, I mean, where where are you gonna see that? Where are you ever gonna see that? Ever? Where where? Who's doing it? <laughs> who's doing it for you guys? Four cafe corners, box number one. Never been opened. Sealed. Four, quattro, four, four cafe corners. So just a little bit of uh, history behind this lot. This is one of our lovely YouTube viewers who ran into this collection <laughs> from some life events, uh, being a good person, it sounds like. He ran into this Lego collection and uh, he offered it to me for a price, of course. <laughs> uh, so you know me, I can't, uh, you know, who cares if I'm done with the previous Lego collection? I can't... Uh, I can't stop myself. <laughs> Who cares if I have enough money in the bank? I can't stop myself. I paid more for this Lego collection in total after shipping than I did for my car in cash. Just, th just think about that. Plastic bricks, cardboard boxes. They say children's toys, but you know, we all know they're adult toys too. <laughs> but uh, I paid. I'm still paying off my car, but this, no, nope, we paid this in cash. <laughs>
I'm into this haul, $32,000 that we paid in cash. $32,000, just let that sink your, into your mind a little bit. It got delivered, delivered in a semi-truck. If you guys have seen any of the previous posts and the previous videos, we're gonna go through the rest of this box. Comment below if you're excited for the rest of this collection, because I know I am. We started off with four sealed cafe corners and we're just getting started. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Next up, as you can see, there's a theme that these are all vintage sealed sets. 6440. I actually do have a, uh, a little list here for what's in each box, which is very nice of him. Shout out Miguel, by the way, uh, our, our viewer Miguel. I don't think he gave me his username or anything like that, but shout out to you, man. Uh, <laughs> he's the one who just came, came through. He came to me, uh, messaged me, and, and here we are now from YouTube. <laughs> Full circle, YouTube to YouTube. This is the Jetport Fire Squad. It actually has a flap, which is really cool. Um, nine volt battery, old school nine volt battery. We had the original light kits there. Classic set, as you can see, still brand new sealed, mint condition. Eh, the box is a little bit bent, but I mean, come on now, come on now. I don't know when this set was, let's take a look. I think he actually wrote what when this set came out. 1991, I was four years old when this came out. <laughs> and I'm an old guy. 1991. That's crazy. I mean, that is pretty crazy. That just ridiculous. Speaking of light systems, we're going right along the same path here. We have 6481. This is the construction crew from 1989. I was two when this came out. Love these. Love these. Oh, what did that say? Dear brother... Oh, nice. This is like a shop at home thing. It says, Dear Lego, or sorry, Dear, Dear Builders Club member, we are aware of the possibility that one element may have been omitted from a limited quantity of these sets. To avoid any shortage, we have enclosed an extra element. If your set is complete, please keep this extra element for your Lego collection from the Lego shop at home service. That is awesome. <laughs> As you can see, boys, you gotta, you gotta be nice to some people if they forget one piece in your used Lego set that's 5,000 pieces, because even Lego did it. Even Lego did it on brand new sealed stuff. This is from 1989. That's good customer service Lego. Hopefully that stuff continues in 19, you know, in 2020. Um, can't really see the, the, <laughs> the box anymore, uh, but that is like cool little piece of history right there. So. Maybe I'll include that with whoever buys this. Um, but as you can see, some printed pieces there. Just classic old school stuff. Another 9-volt battery in that one as well. Old school dump truck. Super cool. Next up, we have a new, another big dog here. This is... I'm actually probably not even going to take these out of their syringe... Or out of their bubble wrap, because they're bubble wrap so well. This is 5590. Oops, I just hit my head on something. 5590, this was the Whirl and Wheel Super Truck from 1990. I was three, <laughs> if you guys can do the math. Oh man, this does have a flap too, maybe I will. Maybe we'll take it, take it out a little bit, because some of these guys, these are just vintage, classic, amazing sets. I don't want to accidentally tape the box. There we go, put the tape over there. Check them out. Is it a flap? Yeah, it's a flap. This is going to be hard. I probably won't take them all out because <laughs> I want to put this back on there now. Um, but as we see, this also has a giant flap and you can see all the trays of pieces there. I'm guessing alternate builds. This was the uh, semi that holds the helicopter, I believe. Brand new sealed 5590 from 1990. I wasn't super into model team or anything like that when I was a kid, but seeing this stuff in its brand new mint condition form <laughs> is just, just remarkable. What else we got in this box? You're like, Kevin, please don't. Please no. There's no more we can have in this box. Next up, we do have 6584. This is called the Extreme Team Challenge from 1998. So we skipped a couple years there. 1998, now we're in. This also has a flip top. Lego, bring them back, man. Bring back the flip tops. That's what we all want to see. We want to see our, our information. We want to see alternate builds. And we want to see flip tops again. <laughs> At least us old a -foles. 
uh, want to see that. But as you can see, this is also sealed. Everything in this collection is sealed. There's a couple things that are not going to be sealed, but for the most part, everything is sealed. And, and really, that's where the cost came from. Um, <laughs> I'm still reeling about how much I paid for this and a little bit sick. Uh, <laughs> but we're gonna have to not buy anything for quite some time. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for content other than this stuff. Uh, next up, we do have two of the same set. This is the 6104. This was from the old vintage Aqua Sharks, it looks like. Uh, this one was called the Aqua Accessories. Unique New York. Aqua Accessories. <laughs> so it was like a little mini battle pack. You had a uh, shark and an octopus and two divers. So it looks like it was actually Aquanauts and Aqua Sharks. And then came with two animals, two bushes, some crystals, it looks like. Classic little pack there. Nice. And next up, we do have another little one. This one is the 6447. This looks like a little dump truck. Let's see what this was called. This was called the Dumper. <laughs> Very original. It was called the Dumper. So I got a brand new sealed dumper. <laughs> if, anybody, if anybody wants a brand new sealed dumper, and by dumper, I mean fecal thoroughfare. I mean, I got I got a fresh, fresh, warm, sealed. <laughs> okay. All right, that's enough. Uh, this one was from 1999. So it's a little bit older now. A little bit older now. Uh, next up, we do have the 6572. And this one was called the Wind Runners from 1998. It's like a little sail car there, which is pretty cool. It's a little support vehicle. As you can see... Not punched. These are punch tab boxes. Looks like you can build a little, I don't know what that would be, minesweeper kind of thing. I'm not sure what that's for. Instead of a wheel. Alternate builds, man. They, they, they cared so much back then. And because the cafe corner took up so much room, <laughs> we didn't really have a lot left. Uh, for other stuff. So we have a whole bunch of poly bags here. These are old vintage poly bags. They didn't even have, they didn't actually have uh, like printed poly bags back then. Um, so we have, we do have 10165. This one was the Elf Boy poly bag. I think there are six of these in there. I can't even say how he looks like, but you can see there's the old face brick right there. So you know it's old. Uh, there we go. That's what he looks like. Cute little Lego set. 10165, we have six of those. 10166, this is the elf girl to go along with him. We'll probably make combos, depending on how many we have of these. Looks like we only have three of these, unfortunately. So the uh, the men out, outnumber the women, it looks like. But that's a cute little set as well. Old school, these things came out. Actually, these look like they're way older than they are. These were 2004 that these came out. Um, so I, I would have guessed quite a bit older than that just from looking at them so those are all those ones and it looks like we also do have one zero zero five one these are just clear bricks uh completely sealed in the poly bag as well transparent bricks they called it uh, this was from 2002 so i don't know if these are easily attainable anymore but there's a whole bunch of them let's see how many is it 50 50 little one by two clear bricks so that's kind of cool make windows and stuff like that i imagine so uh yeah that is going to do it. That was box one, folks. I mean, most of the room, most of the room was taken up by that and that too, but mostly that. <laughs> we just getting started. We're just getting started. Comment below what you think is in the rest of these 16 boxes. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm ready for another series. <laughs> Smash subscribe. Who's giving you four sealed cafe corners if you're new here and you like crazy lego stuff i just spent thirty-two thousand dollars on lego toys but just let it sink in but think about the things you can i could have put a sizable down payment on a house but i didn't because you know what i can't get enough i love you guys super excited for the rest of these boxes and i'll catch you on the next one